painting fabric. This is a very short section, but I think, again, it's, it's healthy. It's, it's healthy. It's good for you. And I think what it will do is also expand your mind as to some of the possibilities of thinking outside the box with Photoshop. So some of you have seen, I have a hair class I teach here at Creative Live, and I have a section where I say, hey, why don't you make some hair out of flame? Today I'm saying, hey, why don't we make some fabric out of flame? So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So I was uh, fortunate enough to work on a book, I like case studies, case studies are always good, uh, called Last Night I Swam with a Mermaid. Uh, a photographer named Michael Mahler shot it, all these underwater shots in a pool, and his wife wrote it, it's a kid's book, and then he shoots a lot of underwater photography in Tahiti and whatnot, and I got to compile all these images together and make this book. It's a really lovely book, and it was really fun because it's one of the few times in my career where I get some license. Like, they're like, well, here, go make something. And so it was fantastic. Well, you know, we, we live in a society where sometimes there's issues about how people look and what's going on, and the decision here was we need to cover her up. So I'm going to use the Render Flame plugin to show you how you can add fabric to an image like this. So I want to show it to you. I, I want to visually show it to you, and then I'm going to walk you through it. Okay, so what you end up doing is you're going to use the Filter Render Flame, and you're going to change it from Basic Mode to Advanced to make some changes. And I'm going to, I know this type is hard to read for some people. It'll be on the handout. This is very basic. I'm going to walk you through it right now. We're going to make a new layer. We're going to draw a path with the pen tool. You must path this out. It needs a path to operate against. And you're going to play with the settings. You, you can change the color of the flame. I'm going to not do that now. And besides, didn't we just go over five different ways of changing color? Yes, we did. So you don't need this right now. So. Here's what we're going to do, brand new layer, draw from the top down, this is really important and I'm going to demo this for you, you draw from the start to the end, very important, you go, you make a new layer, please make a new layer, please do not do this on a flat layer, you need flexibility for this and you're going to change your mind, you pick the flame, you play with it, you do it 75 different times, okay? This is not a one-stop one thing. You're going to have to get the feel for it. I'm going to uh, hold off on this first section on the colorizing, and I'm just going to go ahead and do the path. So let's take a look at this file. Get rid of our actions. We don't need that. I'm just going to put a gray layer for a minute so I can show it to you. This is the flame that I've drawn. I'm going to redo it for you in just a second. I just want to show you what it's going to be. Did I say you, you, you want to practice? So I'll build a flame layer. I'll then colorize it. And then because you're never done, ladies and gentlemen, you're never done, you're going to put a little more on top, colorize it, a little darkening on top, add some white. And well, do you want to put some extras on top? Yes. What might that be? Well, of course you need to put the waistband back. And of course you're going to need some bubbles. Excellent. So here we go. New layer. Pen tool, start from the top, drag down. How you do this doesn't matter. This is so not precious. Why I say that is, do you know when you illustrate something and you really have to be careful because it's so hard? You don't have to be careful because you can do it 75 times in two minutes. Filter, render, flame. One flame along the path, you're pretty much going to want that. I'll tell you this right now. I'm on the basic. I could change the width. I'm going to tell you, you're probably going to want to be down here, to be honest. And then I like to go to the advanced. You can make it more cuckoo bear crazy. You can jag it. These are subtle. I don't know if you noticed that. It just went It's jealous. It doesn't make that noise, though. All right. You can change it from normal to violent to flat. That's really pretty. I like that one. And you can randomize shapes. You can change the arrangement. I'm going to be 100% honest because I don't want to lie to you guys. I don't know what that is. I, I can see that it's spreading out more or less, but I can't articulate to you what, what that is. So if I can't do it, I don't know if you can do it. So play with this. I, I kind of like, look, 72 was wide. That's wide. That's not wide. I'm sorry. I can't explain this. I don't, I'm sure someone at Adobe can do it. I can't. And who cares? 
Just play with it. This is fun. All right. Now, for the sake of time, I'm going to move on a bit on this. I think this is such a basic concept. Let me turn the path off. There's another path I drew for the little ones. So basically what you're going to do, this is not precious, please do not be precious with this, is you're going to draw a bunch of them. So I'm going to pull out one of these and close it back down. So what you'll see here, and I'm going to put a gray layer just so you can see it. That's my new one. That's this one. Oh, and just mask it out a little. And here's uh, another thing I like to use, Command-T for transform. And you can scale them. You can make tighter ones. You can make, you can move it. You can make it fly. Fly. Can you fly underwater? I guess you can now. You can do warp and really tighten it up to whatever shape. You can liquefy it, anything you want. All right? Now, I'm going to. I'm going to revert back to history for just a second. So what, I, what you have here are some additions that I just want to discuss. We talked about colorizing. There's my flames drawn. You know how to draw a flame now, justo. And now I did a gradient map. It's a gradient map on normal. And here happens to be the color. If the client wants it more pink later. All right. I can do that, red, pink. Okay, whatever you want, completely 100% flexible. Same technique we just used on the other ones. This might hurt a little. You ready for the next section? All right. I'm a channel pulling fool. We, we, you know this about me. So what I'm going to do is I want a little extra highlight. I'm going to fill this layer with black just as a base, just temporarily. <gasps> Look. Look what I have. Do you remember I said there's stored selections? What if I want to highlight on this fabric, a white highlight or brighter contrast? Because the flame render is only going to do as much contrast as it has. I can take the green or blue copy. I did the green one for the demo. Let's do the blue one. Lisa loves her channels and her levels. Command L. What you're doing here is you want a selection. Take your hands off the computer. What the heck am I doing? I'm in channels. I made a copy. What is the purpose of this channel? I want to paint white highlights, but I don't want to hand draw them. So I pulled a channel. I'm doing a levels move. I'm making a selection. It's going to hang out right here. I think that's pretty good. It's tight. It's crisp. I'm going to hit OK. Now, in the other job, the, uh, the gals, their color, I use that channel as a layer. I am not using the channel as a layer. I'm using it as a selection. So pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to say, Blue for white fill. I'm going to load that selection or channel, grab it by its name, drag it to the add a selection icon, or my favorite, hold the command key, it's always this left hand, over the icon for that channel, click on it, and I'm going to fill with white. Option delete, the command, pardon me, command delete, the background color is command delete. And now I've just added this really pretty white highlight on it. Y'all cool with that? Channel pulling for days. Sorry, I get very excited about channel pulling. So um, that's render. Cool? Flame, it's awesome. You could do all kinds of stuff with it.